Okay, here's a fun little problem having to do with power usage in a resistor and determining what the resistor is from measurements. So let's say you were given this little circuit right here. So there's a resistor, okay, and uh, this guy is hooked up to a uh, to a current source, I, and then somehow you measure the power leaving this thing. Okay, so how could you do that? Well, this could be a little heating element to like warm up your coffee. It could be a little electrical resistance coil and you put it in water and then uh, let, the, let it heat up the water and you could measure the power that way, right? Because you know the specific energy of of, uh, of water, if I'm remembering my, my physics right. But anyhow, somehow you have a power meter here. Could have done that, or there's other kinds of electrical power meters that um, will measure power in a circuit directly. But that's too simple. But anyway, somehow you measured the power, right? Somehow you measured the power, and somehow you measured the current. So you're also given this current and uh, so current in amps and power in kilowatts. You're also given this table of measurements. These are these are measured somehow, okay? With a power meter and a current meter, all right? And you got one amp and at that point the thing was putting out half a kilowatt and then uh, two and 2.0. You draw some lines here. Three, four, five, six, so this guy was putting out 4.5 kilowatts and 8 kilowatts. So that's a lot. That's my cup of water thing. That's way too much. This is more like, oh shoot, even an, an, an oven, uh, like your oven in your house. Um, that's more than your oven puts out. Like my oven, I measured it once. You know, I measured, I turned off everything in the house and I turned on the oven on all the burners and uh, you know, it wasn't that much. How much was it? It was, well, there's a 50 amp circuit in your house, right? And it's a 250 watt, so, uh, amp, um, 250, 240 volts. So, like, it's 240 volts and uh, 50 amps, you know, whatever that is in kilowatts. It's like a lot, but it's more than this, or less than, this is a lot down here. Anyway, just thinking about the reality of the situation, so now what? Well, you might be tempted to graph this thing, and if you did, you'd get something that looks like this. You'd get a power curve and a power versus uh, versus current. You'd get uh, just just it'd look like this. Then w what can you do? Well, turn, not much. So um, this is int this is cool, but not useful really so here's the trick this in the inside on this thing is this this formula right here p equals i squared r that's the inside that helps you solve this so basically if you solve for r remember r is a constant right for a resistor resistors are manufactured with a certain r value so r is going to be p, the power over i squared so what's what what that's saying is that for any given power uh, and uh, current, this this ratio should be constant. Okay, so this is this is a constant uh, for um, you know for any for any p i pair, right? So let's just take this one. So this is five point five kilowatts or five hundred five hundred watts. So you, when you're doing these calculations, you need to make sure they're all in base base units so we're given a kilowatt here so we're going to divide uh, power by current squared so we need to make sure that everything's in base units no no engineering units no kilo mega micro anything just base right otherwise you'll be way off so th this is uh this is 500 which happens to be the same as the next pair. Um, the two the two thousand watts over two squared is also five hundred. 
and the 4,500 watts over three squared is all of these are 500 uh, 500 ohms. I think I was saying watts. So that's the uh, that's the answer. Oh, we're trying to find R. So I'd like you to uh, do what I'm doing here, except make it look nicer. And uh, it's hard to do a lecture and write this stuff, but uh, I will give you some more feedback on how the homework should look. It should look nicer than this, but it should say given and what's given. And you should draw the circuit, because this is a circuits class, so draw the circuit. If there's anything to graph that's not a trivial straight line, I'd like you to graph it. Okay? And um, even if it is a, what I mean, if it's if it's one of the if it's one of if it's something like this, that's pretty silly. Like you know, if v versus time is just a constant and that's the only thing that happened, that's kind of silly. But if it's if it's doing anything other than than just that, I'd like you to graph it. Like if v is doing anything else, graph it. Or if you're doing the the v over i, you know, which gives you r, graph that. Okay, so draw the circuit, do the uh, any values that are given, um, do any graphing, then uh, kind of narrate your, your stuff, and I'll give you a little more feedback on that. So uh, that's uh, the only thing, other thing we can do is actually graph this. We could graph P versus I squared, and it, it, it'll be, a, if you graph these, um, versus I squared, not not I, but I squared, you'll get a straight line which has a slope of R. Okay?